I've owned the Electric 49 inch QLED super wide monitor, that one over there, for about eight months now. And I love it more today than the day that I first got it. For gaming, for productivity, for editing, it's a joy and I urge you to try it if you haven't already. The only bugbear that I have with it is that you can't split the screen into segments out of the box. In my original video, I talked about a program called Display Fusion, which does help with this issue, but I found it a little bit clunky. And when I wanted to put my timeline full screen in Premiere, it didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. And it wasn't perfect and it was a paid for application. So I uninstalled that app and I haven't used it since. And I've just dealt with having to resize every window as I went along. That was until I discovered Microsoft Power Toys. It's a really powerful program and there's lots of different features in Microsoft Power Toys, but the one I like the most and the one I'm gonna be talking to you about today is called Fancy Zones. And what Fancy Zones does is it allows you to split your screen into as many different segments as you want. And if you hold shift whilst you move one of your windows around, then you can snap it to that segment of your screen. If you want to make a window full screen, you can, you just do it normally. But if you want it to be smaller, then you hold shift. Genius. This is what I wish Display Fusion had done in the first place. Let's jump over to the computer and I'll show you how to install it and how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this on a normal 24 inch monitor just because it'll look better on YouTube. You'll be able to understand more clearly, but it works exactly the same way on a super wide monitor. So the first thing I want you to do is click on the link in the video description and it'll take you to GitHub and we're gonna download the released version of this software. So just click on release, scroll down and then click Power Toys Setup. That'll start the download. It'll ask you where you wanna download it to Download complete, so just open that up and it'll bring you to this setup wizard. So you just wanna click next, follow the steps through the setup wizard. I've already got it installed, so it's not gonna work for me. Once you've installed it, just go down to your system tray, right click on it and click settings. This will bring up this window and it affects whichever monitor this window is on. If I brought this window down to my super wide monitor, then it would affect my super wide. So we're just gonna launch the zones editor. This is nice, there's lots of different options within this program and you can even make your own as well. So focus basically makes a little folder kind of stack. Columns allows you to split your screen into three columns. You can have rows, you can have a grid, you can have priority grid, which is what I use on my super wide monitor. So I have a large application in the center and little applications off to the side. So we're gonna do this one for the time being. Space around each zone is basically a buffer in between each window. I don't really like that, so I'm gonna change that to two. And press apply. And now if I move this window whilst holding shift, it'll snap to that part of the screen. If I bring an explorer window up and I hold shift, I can snap it to this side of the screen. And if I wanna bring my web browser up as well, I mean, I can do that. I mean, it's not very useful on that size screen, but on a super wide screen, it's super, super useful. Something else you can do as well is you can adjust the amount of columns up to forty. That's a lot. So four on a grid would be nice as well. So we're going to take our Explorer window, and pop it up into that grid our settings down into there, our web browser to there, and calculator into the bottom right hand corner. You can see how on a super wide monitor, this program is super, super powerful. There we go, all done. A free solution that does exactly what I wanted it to do. Hopefully this helps some of you out. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, then like the video and subscribe so you never miss another episode. I'll see you again next time.